Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. TFG Football is an IBM production and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Simplified, a show that explains intense topic from around the world and simplifies it for you so that you can up your cooler in front of your friends. You're listening to TFG Football. Well, 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 it's a new day, a new week. Like always, I start every Monday show. And, well, Hero ISL draft that took place uh, yesterday just took us, you know, took half of our <laughs> Sundays away for this big drama that been was unfolded. Uh, but some good picks, uh, some surprising picks as well by the new teams and the other teams. Uh, but before we enter and talk about this big, you, know, you can't see me doing what I'm doing, like I'm seeing quotes, my draft thing. Uh, we shall talk about uh, the India under-23 performance. Uh, they've ended their campaign at the qualifiers, uh, but had a great, I mean, great match. We have really something to look forward to. They did go I down. I think it was more interesting than the draft. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I mean, of course, it's a match. That was not okay. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> So, uh, we played against Syria and Qatar, a uh, great fight we put up, okay, we we ended up on the losing side, they mm. were bigger teams, they were much experienced or whatever you want to say, but our boys did a great job and the final boys match against, Achakela. yes, Acha Khela, Acha Khela, uh, <laughs> Acha Khela. <laughs> Yeah, we are missing Khalid Jamil. <laughs> uh, so, 3-1 was the final scoreline against Turkmenistan and uh, great stuff. I think uh, they just want to go end on a high note, you know, take out all we that. We own Turkmenistan nowadays. Yeah, right? it's like... Nothing, no, no big deal. So, I think a great performance, right? Kevin, I mean, something really to look forward to. I mean, the boys are the future... Totally. You know, uh, yes, the group was tough uh, and we played as much as we could. Yeah. And considering the first two games, uh, our defensive capabilities were really uh, shown hmm. that we can defend. Yeah. And there was this uh, transition. So there, there's the defense, there is the offense and there is a transition between. Right. From the time you get the ball and to, uh, you move to the open, offensive mm-hmm. side. So these three aspects in three games were really highlighted for us. Hmm. And in yesterday's game, it was total offense. Those goals were not classy goals, but they were opportunistic. Mm -hmm. You get one chance, you score them, and that is the end of the game. You don't see whose mistake it was. We've seen howlers done by every team. Mm. But who steps on that on those occasions is the winner of that day. Yeah. And that that's what won us the game. And yes, what Constantine said is uh, three points are not justified for the performance that we've given in three games. We Mm. could have ended... On a much higher note over there, hmm. but, but I, I think we could have it. actually gone into Asian Cup. So close, yeah. so close. So we, close. We could have, we could have made it. Over I think one draw, yeah. one draw could have made a difference. I think yeah. Syria could have been a draw because after that first half, a great first half. To Qatar, we almost drew. Yeah, hmm. almost. almost. And we hit the post. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we kept hitting the post. Even against Syria. I was like, ah. <laughs> it's like the frustration that comes out. But anyway, like we said, and there were some who were like hot picks, uh, you know, at the draft as well. Though they were All of them playing. were hot picks. All yeah. the scorers were hot picks. Like exactly. Manveer Singh uh, got a, was a hot pick and he uh, scored. Alan Devery was a hot pick. He scored. Jerry Lalrin Zumala, he was not in the draft, but his picture was yeah. there in the draft. He was much bigger. <laughs> so he scored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about that now, uh, we shall talk about we, st- we shall start talking about that because, see, I I know we've been we, we do criticize at times you know ISL and what happens, but then at times they give us the give us more reasons to do that you know. So yesterday at the draft uh, when Jamshedpur it was Jamshedpur's turn and they got up and they wanted a player Mao Ming Thanga. Jerry yeah? Mao Ming Thanga. Yeah. So now too much of confusions you know people get confused between Jerry's Pawan Kumar's Ravi Kumar's there was a lot of confusion about that but this particular so they had Mao Ming Tanga's name and that's what Jamshedpur wanted but they had picture of Jerry Lalrenzuela right uh, yeah. who's already been retained by Chennai NFC mm. and I'm looking at we all looking at it we're like ah no that, something's wrong over here <laughs> that's not uh, this Jerry what Jamshedpur wants but this Jerry is not Jerry nahin nahin hai. Hai. exactly and then yeah so they had to run and then Ishfaq was or the, the team of Jamshedpur said hey we want the guy with that name but not that photo it's a wrong photo 
<laughs> so all blunders but keeping aside all of that let's come down to focusing of uh, some big names that we already were talking about in uh, the draft and they did go i mean jamshedpur we were putting uh, of course they started off and uh, started with the bang first name anish eratorika so there you go i mean a great pick right it's like the ball is in your court why won't you not score Mm. and they scored with that so i think a great pick over there uh, even lindo do lindo had to wait till atk could pay, uh, come uh, that come was in a surprise and to me lindo being one of the highest uh, hmm. uh, prize players in the draft went out a bit late yeah you know, only when uh, atk was came i have the third round to go out uh, for lindo to be picked hmm. up right in the first or second round hmm. but 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 never yes. know, strategies. ATK yeah. got lucky there, but they did have a trade. They had mm. to negotiate all those uh, drama what, what things. What is with happened. this stupid trade <laughs> yeah. thing? No three sense. minutes to like take a player from another team. Three minutes. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, they've had this trade forever, and only one trade was actually successful, hmm. and that was between uh, Delhi Dynamos and somebody else. I I don't even remember which player it was, hmm. but they just. agreed to the deal just to like get get their name in history is the oh first <laughs> first time we did a trade yeah. <laughs> otherwise it doesn't it, it just doesn't does not make work sense all sense all i mean yeah. yesterday whoever were you know negotiated nobody even they all, all remained with their respective teams who exactly. picked them uh, so lindo had a uh. fire i mean just to talk about we touched upon the trade so kerala blasters had an interest over lindo uh, uh, what was the player must be going okay i have got a team <laughs> uh, okay uh, okay i think i'm not staying what is going on no yeah 3 minute mein mujhe pata chalega kidhar khelu main before i tweet oh oops wait i've been traded <laughs> let me so put the same tweet again okay i've been picked by atk now uh you know like They, these were some expected names you know we just say we also mentioned jamshed pur going was to the ball and it would be great to see uh, him coming back because he's from the tata academy mm. and he was very happy he feels like it's a homecoming great pick again by jamshed pur we had few surprises as well so just to say few things were like uh, like something that we touched upon did come did happen we yeah. were, we said that we wanted to see fc goa go for the go and flavor they did they yeah. got the likes of brendan fernandes and you know all the other players uh, then there were some teams who played smart who went for uh, not those just big names but who've done consistently like mm-hmm. all our hidden gems were like you know and our, i think one or two of them were being traded some other teams had interested mm-hmm. in so i think that was great to see because we thought some would not get picked and come back to i league or play for shillong or as all but that didn't work good for them i mean really happy for the players i'm also happy personally for mumbai fc players you know, most of them got picked uh, farooq choudhury hitesh sharma uh, karan soni so all of them uh, i think the biggest surprise indeed was robin singh <laughs> being robin picked singh. At, picked as he was picked 7th by atk you know when atk got the seventh chance he he went through like seven stages of withdrawal yeah. <laughs> yeah, so at once i mean i really felt sorry on the camera shoot him so at once i think one of the representative of a team got up to say and the camera captured him sitting behind okay just behind the guy and he was like like <laughs> no expression nothing i mean seriously people are fighting over young players what am i supposed to do damn <laughs> to that but then you know finally probably yeah, it it justified really uh, yeah. see uh, he has a heavy form. prize on him hmm. but uh, he does not feature in the top yeah. top 11 players f- for a team because if he is in the team either he starts but does not does not complete a game or he comes on as a substitute so obviously you won't go for a player with a heavy prize right at the beginning of the draft so it was but kind of expect he's going to ashley westwood yeah. again there you go obviously. a reunion between lindo ashley westwood and robin singh yeah. <laughs> i mean talking about ashley westwood uh, i think two teams uh, had smart people on their table who did all the homework who knew everything about indian football and picked the right team for their teams thang bhai singh to at kerala blasters ashley westwood at adk kerala blasters have done the best business i've seen them do exactly so far. when it comes to players right indian i mean players. absolutely i think for me We talk about I know we are running through this because we we have time constraints we cannot touch upon on all the players that have been written in one show we don't so want we, to have another draft yeah yes. <laughs> 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 that was a good one so we shall talk about in detail about every team in the coming shows but we're just touching upon you know going through how it went about for me now let's talk about surprise I was I was a little surprised when Kerala Blasters went for Arata Izumi not saying that he's not a great player but I'm just saying Kerala Blasters going for them or you know. The f- they get a chance and you go for a time. He so is great. going to be uh, a substitute. Hmm. 
they are going to try to get a good foreigner out there in that position attacking midfield or hmm. attack whatever hmm. he's he's a versatile player that's yeah. also another reason yeah. to yeah. go for him he can you can even put him up front yeah right and pretty sure singh to had a big say you know singh to has been studying yeah. them he, he won recently with neroka hmm. so you know all of the all of those but it was great to see these two gentlemen Hmm. This the reason uh, having Singto pays off is that he recognizes that uh, hmm. the second division is not easy. Yeah, we think there's a big uh, you know quality difference, and that's to some extent true. But hmm. some of the better teams in the second division have players as good as the I League and ISL teams. Yeah, and uh, it's it's great to see that uh, his effort over there got recognized, right. and he got picked. This is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kevin, any surprises for you? Any particular with any particular player? Uh some way I really thought uh, Albino uh, would have been picked by the Goan team. Mhm. Uh but again, Khatim was there. Didn't have a there. chance, I think. Yeah. So <laughs> because Delhi were in the front, you know, they had in the first team and yeah. I think like just like you said, Albino was also a surprise who I got picked. Yeah, first. because you know, he has proved himself yeah. and uh, rightfully goes out in the first round itself. So It just shows his importance, you know. Right. He is not there among the highest pay, uh, price players, but then you see how how That's good he has proved himself. Yeah, so mm-hmm. a, a great pick by Delhi, right? Definitely yeah. the first round. Sanjit, any other just, names? Just see the, just see how uh, you know fast the goalkeepers went, the experienced yeah. ones. Yeah. So Bruto went early. Yeah. Albino went early. Uh, everybody, even uh, uh, the less experienced ones, got picked up all the way till the end. Mm. So everybody really wants to stack up on Indian goalkeepers this mm. time, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's pretty awesome that uh, we are seeing the custodians getting their fair share of uh, credit. Monetarily as well, hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was it was a pretty decent though. All of this we were seeing all the glamour and you know all the drama attached to it. But yeah, teams did a good job. Uh, and I think the final pick by Bengaluru FC, Calvin Abhishek. We hmm. had Chiranjit uh, talking to him. Uh, he's a 21 years old, and uh, so Chiranjit, what do you you know? So he's the, the he's the young uh, uh, he's the youngest goalkeeper I think out there who got picked, mm-hmm. and he's also the cheapest player in the history of ISL draft at four <laughs> lakhs <laughs> to be picked, uh, and he's he's been there. He, this is a retention actually. He's been uh, a mm-hmm. part of Bengaluru yeah. FC for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, he made the uh, squad a couple of times when uh, Albino Gomez got injured. Mm-hmm. He's from Bangalore as well, mm-hmm. so it's it's uh, and. and uh, you know so imagine you being put on a draft and waiting through all the excruciating 15 yeah. rounds and right the at the end round. your club picks you back yeah yeah so uh, you could i could just feel uh, his excitement and happiness when i talked to him uh, it was right after he got picked hmm. so let's listen in yeah so how does it feel to be home back home oh it feels it feels good it feels good it's really great <laughs> i'm always hoping to stay back here Yeah so you were you were rooting to be back in Bengaluru FC before the draft as well yeah yeah and yeah, and, yeah, and did you yeah. and did you get any uh, like communication from the club that yeah they were going to try and get you back oh no this was like a complete surprise to me uh you have been there uh, in Bengaluru FC for a while now and you even made it to the main squad a couple of times uh, although i don't think you 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 haven't got a debut yet right? i've never no, i haven't got a debut yet i've been on the bench Yeah so so just just like uh, you know reaching that far you know how how was it how was the process going uh, going to bengaluru fc you know uh, arguably the biggest club in the country uh, and uh, mm-hmm. coming up through the uh, reserves and making it into the first team uh, what was the process like uh, it, was, it was it it took me um, um days of hard work Commitment, dedication. Every single day, I had to work, work, work really, really hard to be there. Mm-hmm. I was part of the under 19s. Uh, the under 19s squad I was the main keeper there, so it was very easy for me to be the main keeper. But then when I got uh, recruited for the senior team, mm-hmm. it was really hard because the competition was completely different. Obviously, everyone, everyone was older than me. I had to. I was like a rat there. I had to try my way to come up. Yeah, it was really hard. But I, but I. I kept my hopes. I got mm-hmm. always told me I had the potential, so that was my only hope. Yeah. So, how was the, uh, you know, what what kind of guidance? What would you say of the guidance you got at Bengaluru FC over the last couple of years? Obviously, um, yeah. Most of my players, the new KC, my coach, everyone told me, don't be scared, don't be a kid. Yeah. This is your chance. You need to prove it. 
there are a lot of odds coming up, but never, never, never give up, never surrender. So you know what you can do. He yeah. always motivated me every time. Since I was the youngest in the club, and it was all new to me, people, most most of the players kept motivating me. Mm. And it's always a bit tough for a goalkeeper because uh, you know people don't really rotate that as much. And, yeah. Uh, true. Yeah, and, but but you still were you were still traveling with the team, practicing. Uh, I was uh, traveling, yeah. When when Amrinder Amrinder got injured once, and when uh, Moya got injured, I was in the what the main squad. Yeah, and uh, you were you were there in uh, some of the AFC Cup games as well, right? Uh, yeah, I was in you know, the AFC final. That was my first. Yeah, my AFC yeah. final. Yeah, so so imagine uh, being part of that already, and uh, goalkeepers. You know, you, usually they get into groove a little bit late, and uh, you are sort of getting exposed to that uh, atmosphere and the pressure pretty early on. So, yes. so what what would be your target? Yeah. Uh, for now, now I'm really fighting fighting for my spot now because even now I'm the youngest goalkeeper at the club, hmm. and since I already have, I already have, you know, I've been with the club, so I know how it works now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give me hundred percent in my training every single day, starting from start when the season starts. Mm. But uh, you know, starting with the season, uh, you had to be released because of that regulation and uh, went into the draft. What what was your uh, what was your you know uh, being literally? Oh, I was really yeah. really nervous. Yeah. I was really nervous. I was hoping BF to pick me. Round one went, round two, round three, round four. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I didn't know which club was going to take me. Yeah. And then round fifteen, BFC opened my eyes. <laughs> I was excited. So, was uh, so, so uh, you you still uh, there with your parents, right? Uh, yeah, I live with my mom here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. how has the how has the support from uh, family been today and in the last oh. couple of years? Well, I was. My family members, uh, they kept even they wanted me to stay here because uh, mm. you know, my mom. I have a single parent at home, so I had to take care of her as well. Yeah. So my mom was really worried if I might go to another club. But then okay. uh, I had a lot of pressure. But then I think today it made my day. <laughs> yeah, you you get to stay home. Uh, so you are yeah, you are original. You you are originally from I'm Bangalore. From okay. Yeah, so a, a local kid again uh, making history uh, as. It's a, it's a weird kind of history. You're the cheapest player to ever be <laughs> sold <laughs> in ISL draft. Uh, I mean, it never mattered to me. The money never mattered to me. I just wanted to make it big, just it. and I know I will one day. Mm. So, uh, as as a as somebody who is out there in uh, Bangalore, you know, and, and it's it's the club from your city. Uh, has there yeah. do do you feel a personal rapport with the club, uh, and like do you see a long term presence in that club? For um, yourself, I think being the local player is one of the biggest advantage for the club. Because mm. uh, the rapport does work every time. Yeah. And since it's a local club, you have more understanding, you have more, you have more connection with the club. Yeah. And the it's a really good thing. Mm. And I think I'm the only local player here right now in the season. Okay. So obviously there will be a you know extra pair of eyes on you every single time. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, how how is the uh, I mean uh, with Bengaluru FC they have made a jump to ISL, uh, and you you must probably ha- uh, have uh, friends out there uh, in Bangalore who are uh, following Bengaluru FC for a few years now. Uh, how how do they see? Uh, is there is there extra excitement this season? Um, there was there was a lot of excitement. Because uh, mm. more more players get more opportunities this season now. The ISL I League, so yeah. then BFC making it to ISL was a really big thing because everyone hoped for this. Mm. It's a new it's a new level of competition, new environment, new yeah. exposure, new coach, the other team coaches and everything. So it's really good. New players coming in, the foreign players always giving us the tips we need. Okay. Uh, after the signing, uh, uh, did you get any uh, communication from any of the players or staff from the club? Uh, for now, no. I think my fans, only my fans, kept wishing me luck. <laughs> okay. Awesome. And uh, so, so I mean, uh, this is uh, coming from me because I have not really seen you play much. Uh, how, mm-hmm. Who do you model yourself on? Like, who's your uh, inspiration uh, in the world stage? 
fact in india or in the world uh, any anywhere uh, you know a goalkeeper uh, maybe, maybe. A goalkeeper, as a goalkeeper, I always admired uh, Van der Sar. Ah, I see. I think yeah, he was the best. He was the best. He was always the best. I always watch his uh, videos on YouTube and motivate myself. Mm. I think one of the class class goalkeepers would be Van der Sar, and after him would be uh, Ika Katia. Mm. So who, in player, India? In India, I always admired uh, Amanda Singh. Ah. So and the role model here in Bangalore. Yeah, and follow his footsteps there. So how was it competing for the uh, spot with your own role models? It was it was really hard. It was really nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to I had to literally copy few of his uh, moves. Yeah, to be <laughs> at yeah to get into his shoes. <laughs> his level of uh, expertise is really good. Yeah. So so what 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 do you say to uh, others who are just you know. Going through this grind to prove themselves, and uh, you know, it, it, and you know that it's going to be a long struggle, right? It, it's it's not going to be overnight, right? For yeah. you, for you, and for most of the others. What what do you what do you say to them? What keeps you going? For me, it's my it's my. Um, I think it's the love for the game. Yeah, you love the game. You treat the game good. The game treats you that good. It's the same yeah. with every other player. I think it it takes a lot of dedication. A lot of commitment. I mean, when I was in when I was in college, I had to sacrifice a lot of things when I was playing for the club. Yeah, so I think it's dedication, commitment that really, really keeps you going. Hmm. Hopefully, man. Uh, hope to see you soon playing uh, uh, for yeah. Bengaluru FC, and uh, you know, hope, yeah, hope to see you there in the uh, there in the bench uh, in the match against yeah. uh, 25th April, and uh, yeah. and yeah. Thanks so much for talking to us, man. No problem, anytime. Yeah. Well, that was an interesting conversation over there. I mean, it's a great. Uh, it'll be a great joy for this youngster as well to remain at Bengaluru FC because he knows the conditions. He knows the what, team. What about Bengaluru FC picking up five of their former players? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they want to. that, which shows that they did not want to break up the team. Yeah. They yeah, wanted absolutely. to keep their squad together. Yeah. And uh, so, how ridiculous it is. That uh, a club that wants to keep the players hmm. and players that want to stay at the club, club, you force them to break apart. Yeah, and then Both they have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh, it, itna drama ki kya zora? Just let them stay. No, exactly. Like this is. Uh, I mean, draft is bad itself. Hmm. Just yeah. having having this uh, process where the cl- players don't have a say over where they play, but this retention limit. Yeah. What What are you even doing? It's it's. Yeah, they got their boys back like Khabra, Alvin George. Though Khabra had was again had like that process of trade <laughs> from yeah. Chennai and FC, but it Look didn't them happen. Picking Abra Mandal when they lost uh, Albino Gomez, Gomez yeah. I think they would have picked Albino Gomez had they got the chance. chance. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Early on, Delhi Dynamo yeah, just went for a boot, and I'm pretty sure. That was smart picking, like, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that was smart picking they did. Uh, and now coming almost a round up, Chiranjit, with you we start. How mm. did you? Yes, keep all aside the flaws, okay? Mm. Just looking at the teams, the way they went for the players. Mm. How do you summarize the whole thing? Jamshedpur FC surprise of the day. Yes. Be- beautiful. I mean, uh, we should not really be surprised because they have been a part of uh, Indian football for a very long time. They and know who were the, in the players two, inside the out. The two guys who were in the forefront. It yeah. was Kapil and Ishwar yeah. Kamath, right? It, it, it's, it was not even just them. It was yeah. uh, the entire staff of uh, uh, you know uh, Jamshedpur FC hmm. who were always uh, you know uh, I'm pretty sure the entire team Deep. who was on was, the table yeah, yeah pretty pretty much uh, into into like uh, getting like look at them they picked Subrata Paul. Hmm. To uh, ensure that they they have experience at the back, yep. they got Mehta Hussain uh, to just uh, give you that stability in the they midfield. He also was the best defender. Yeah, Anas Anas Thodi ka brilliant thing. So so again, uh, that that theme remains that uh, you know you keep uh, your defense and your midfield and yeah. your goals stacked yeah. with experienced Indians. Then you try to fill up the other spaces with hmm. foreigners. But look at uh, because Jairu they took. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Robin and so Buruk. many and so many like uh, uh, development pro- uh, projects that hmm. they have taken up hmm. Jerry Mauming Tanga obviously wo lal yeah. wala ka picture <laughs> dekha thoda sa ghabda gaya tha but but okay it's it's uh, Mauming Tanga uh, Sumit Pasi they have taken Farooq Chaudhary Farooq Chaudhary as well yeah. and they have taken Ashim Biswas. Biswas yes what 
I, I'm, I think only Mr. Crowley come from Tata, right? Yeah. <laughs> this pick. Yeah, I mean, the guy has not played for a while. He's trying to make a comeback, which is okay. But um, it's a bit of a risk pick. But I think he might even become a semi-coach mentor for these other players like yeah. uh, uh, Farooq and uh, Jerry. Yeah. So it's it's brilliant uh, business done by throughout. Hmm. Even Robin Gurung and Yumnam Raju. Yeah. Are really good picks. Hmm. So yeah, this this is. We, I'm looking forward to the episode where we talk about Jamshedpur FC in detail. Yeah, this is very interesting. Kevin, the whole if you sum if you to summarize the whole draft when you're looking at players teams. I think pretty much uh, teams have came in with a plan hmm. and uh, most of them got them got it right. So it's just that the instant trade made you feel that uh, okay, I think we made a mistake. We might just try to get that player instead of this one. Hmm. So that was a bit. Uh, Confusing for me because it the, the instant card itself is totally uh, bizarre. Mm. So uh, overall, th- this shouldn't have been there in the in the first place. The draft because it really uh, takes the player's choice away from from the club or the career they want to choose. So it's a makeshift ar- arrangement for players to get into a team that they really didn't want to probably or just say okay I, okay I just really wanted to be over here. So that is the other way to see that. So let's see because uh, you know team is still not complete. Uh, we'll have to wait for the foreign signings to mm-hmm. have you know really show how strong the team is. Because uh, yes, the Indians will make most of the first eleven or probably the starting hmm. you know the regulars in hmm. the team, but the foreigners will dominate uh, Up front. to keeping keeping their places. Hmm. So defense is all right. Uh, we really want to see more foreign uh, more Indian players up front so that hmm. you know they also get the share of the limelight because we see that see emo- emerging player is there uh, you don't have a best defender you don't have a best goalkeeper that really eats the limelight it's the most goal scorers uh, most so let's mm-hmm. hope uh, that indians too get, get into uh, the goal scoring you know, you'll, more you'll often you see that you'll see that in bengaluru fc you'll see that in jamshedpur fc yeah. maybe a little bit in uh, northeast united uh, I don't know what direction they're taking. Most of the teams will probably just go for experienced foreigners. Yeah, mm. yeah. But, uh, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. let's see how it goes about. It's mm. going to be a balance at the end of the day because when you're looking, when I'm looking at the draft, the players, it's like a mixed balance. You know, you, you you've picked up veterans in the early on, and then you went on smartly picking the developmental players or the ones who've been consistent. You know, uh, maybe that team that they played for wasn't that great, but the players, when you're looking at individual players, their performance was absolutely great. So now I think what we need to see is how the coaching staff really takes care of these players and how they use them for their team's benefit. Uh, I think that's all we have for today. And uh, as we said, you know, we shall uh, talk about in detail about two teams probably each show. Uh, because if we have something else coming up, we should also talk about that. So I think tomorrow we shall start with the new team, the teams that went had with no retained players. Uh, so we shall touch upon Jamshedpur and Delhi Dynamos, talk about in detail about their retained players as well as whoever they picked in the draft. So it's probably the whole list of Indian players that they have so far. And now you know what to look forward to. And to one of our friends who wrote to us that you know you, uh, we, he would like to see us rate these teams, uh, we shall do that uh, now when you're talking, them, talking about them individually. But I think if I had to pick one overall team that I was impressed with, I would Go for Jamshedpur FC. I'm pretty sure you know you two must be on the same page for that because they were a new team and you know uh, with no players retained, they really picked some great names. So let's see, uh, and we'll have more to talk about in the coming shows, uh, in the coming episodes. Hope you had a great uh, show. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we want to read about all of this. There's a slider story up on our website if you want to go through all the players picked by the teams. It's on our website, thefangrass.com. Do follow the TFG Football Twitter handle. You can also talk to us directly, Shiranjit Oja, Boza underscore Kevin, Sujim Matthew 94. Those are our respective Twitter handles. You can also listen to our show on Audible, SoundCloud, iTunes. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below. Hit the bell icon to get updates of our new episode. Have a great day, folks. Uh, enjoy. Come back to us tomorrow because you know what's coming up. And cheers, enjoy. That was Tantrik Steve from Hansraj College, Delhi, performing at IIT Bombay's Mood Indigo. Just like them, there's a lot of new talent and art coming out of colleges all across India. But unfortunately, most of this goes completely unnoticed or ignored. 
fix this, we started ATKT.in. Hi, I'm Ankur. I'm a musician and a rapper. And I found that one of the best things about being an artist myself is finding new talent. Through ATKT.in, Tanya, my colleague who's a dancer, and our whole team really is putting all of our efforts into discovering and promoting all the coolest talent that's coming out of colleges all across India. And this goes up on our website, our social media, TV, radio, and now of course, this podcast with IVM. Make sure you go to our website, support the talent with your likes, your shares, your comments, all of that really matters. Go ahead, check it out. ATKT.in Excuse me, brother. Excuse me. Bole, madam. What's in the menu? In the menu, there are scenes and scenes, there are podcasts, there are on-course, there are Cyrus, there are Made in India, Rediscovery Project, Empowering Series, Sex Vex, there are IVM Likes, there are Simplified, there are Keeping It Queer, there are Things and Destinations, there are My Neighbor Zuckerberg, there are The Fan Garage. What do you want? एक बार रिपीट कर देंगे क्या रिपीट रिपीट नहीं करता हम आप जाओ आई वी एम पॉडकास्ट डॉट कॉम पे और सुनो ये सब या फिर डाउनलोड करो उनका ऐप सब आपकी उंगलियों पे